Hello class! Welcome to quarter 1 week 4. Our component for this week is health education. Our topics, basic terms in sexuality, dimensions of human sexuality, and the personal health attitudes that may influence sexual behavior. You are expected to analyze your sex, gender, sexuality, and other people's sexuality as well. You will be able to understand the basic terms of sexuality and sexuality as an integral part of one's personality. It will help you to explain the dimensions of human sexuality and know the importance of understanding the dimensions of human sexuality. The education for human sexuality will help you make intelligent decisions concerning sexual behaviors and will help you grow into a responsible, mature man or woman. And this will also make you identify the different factors that influence sexual attitudes and behaviors determine its effect on one's personal life and develop a sense of responsibility to understand the effects of each factor. Let's talk about gender and human sexuality. What is sexuality? Sexuality is the expression of sexual receptivity. This is how you perceive a man being a man and a woman being a woman. That is why you were able to draw a man and a woman because you know what is being a man and a woman. Sexuality involves name given at birth like Romeo and Juliet, toys being played with, your clothes, friends played with, and the roles and responsibilities at home. Sexuality refers to your total self, physical self, the way you look as a man or a woman, mental self, the way you think as a man or a woman, social self, the way you interact with others. Emotional self, the way you feel about yourself and others. And ethical self, the way you value relationship. Physical self, the way you look as a man or a woman. Mental self, the way you think as a man or a woman. Social self, the way you interact with others. Emotional self, the way you feel about yourself and others. Ethical self, the way you value relationships. Sex, what is sex? Sex is centered on the biological basis of being a male or female. Gender is referring to the behavioral, cultural, or psychological traits typically associated with one's sex. It is a social concept of how men and women should think, feel, and act. It refers to femininity or masculinity of a person's role and behavior. This is different from sex, which is the biological basis of being male or female. Gender roles. These are characteristics and expectations of how a man and a woman should feel, think, and act as influenced by the people around you. Gender equality. 
it refers to an equal opportunity for both sexes to enjoy and acquire human rights in many aspects like work or job. Individual attitudes, behaviors, and practices are the results of the different factors in the in environment. The factors can influence one's perception of the different human sexuality related issues. This also helps an individual in character formation and personal development which may lead to good family health in the future. The following are different factors that influence sexual attitudes and behaviors like the family, peers, and culture. So the family has a vital role in the individual's life. Family values oftentimes determine the values of a person. It is appropriate for the parents to guide, support, and advise their children whenever sexuality issues arise. Teaching the children positive values, self-esteem, strong self-control, discipline, and being responsible for making decisions are some of the tasks for the parents. Likewise, children should give respect to the decisions of their parents. Peer Like the family, peer or friends can also have a significant impact on an individual's view regarding human sexuality. Having friends can make everyone's life colorful, bonding with each other, sharing feelings, interests, thoughts, and experiences as a means of influencing each other. Also, in times of sorrow, sadness, loneliness, depression, and other negative moods, there are friends to talk to and express emotions. Friends also affect how people shape their attitudes and behavior towards sexuality-related circumstances. In culture, Filipinos living in different regions have diverse cultures and beliefs. Cultural background can affect the values related to sexuality, along with the norms and standards set by society. An example is an abortion. There are some cultures wherein there is this practice that is acceptable while in some countries like the Philippines, it is unacceptable. In so cultures, women's virginity is sacred and should be kept and remain virgins until their wedding day. So for this week's activity, the first activity is who I am. So in this activity, you will rediscover who you are from the past to the present. So you just need to prepare two pictures, one from grade school and the other one is in the present. So below or beside the printed pictures, make a comparison of yourself from the past and present. You need to describe yourself according to the physical self, mental self, social self, emotional self, and ethical self. You use the image and table below as a guide. Here is the box. The first box, you just need to put your picture here on the first box. Your picture during your grade school. And on the second box, you put your picture now you're in grade 8. So you just need to compare your old self to your new self. Like your physical self during your grade school days and your physical self now that you are in grade 8. Also with your mental self 
emotional self, social self, and ethical self. So, the next activity for activity 2, now I understand. So, the instruction here is to, you just need to list down the positive influences or effects of family, peers, culture, and media to yourself. So, you just put in the box whatever the positive things you had with your family, with your peers, with culture, and media. And the last one for your activity 3, for the direction, you just need to identify the following statements include what dimensions of human sexuality being pertained, you just need to write the answer in a sheet of paper. For example, you just need to choose from physical self, mental self, emotional self, social self, and ethical self. So, you just need to write beside this number. For example, with number one, think and reason better. So, you just need to write whatever what you think is the best answer. Is it physical, mental, emotional, social, and ethical self? So, that's it for this week. I uh, hope to see you next week and keep safe, children. I hope that you were able to understand and be able to uh, pick up new knowledge from our activities, from our discussion. Keep safe, everyone. So, that's all for today. See you next week. Bye-bye.